Okay, so we got some very important information in the last two chapters of One Piece, specifically regarding Pudding. So, obviously we have the, the big plot twist, oh, Pudding's evil now. There, there has been evidence to support that, you know, maybe Pudding wasn't, uh, wasn't as much of a sweetheart as she seemed to be, right? And so, Oda just decided, all of a sudden, boom, this girl's gonna be evil, right? Or at least, that's what he wants us to believe. And now, in the most recent chapter, we get an update on, oh, she's evil and she has these really cool powers. She has memory powers, uh, both remove memories from anyone that she can come in contact with, apparently, as well as edit them. So actually creating false memories out of thin air, apparently. Um, and I, well, there's evidence to support that she just creates it out of thin air and it's not just something that she has to pull from elsewhere. Um, but I think that her power is very interesting and I think it is going to play a huge role in the story. Um, and I think it's very possible that she has used this power already and we just haven't, obviously we didn't know about her power until now. Um, so now that we do, now is the time that we want to go back and revisit times that she's come in contact with people to see, oh, is it possible that she played with somebody's memory? And there's a very specific moment that I have in mind um, that I think Oda could use to actually flip the script and do a complete 180 on putting it, maybe not a complete 180, but redeem pudding in a way to where she is not completely just evil. Basically, I think that she manipulated Luffy's memories when she visited him in the cell. And I think that that is the entire reason why she actually visited them in the first place. Because if you think about it, it makes absolutely no sense from the standpoint that Luffy is just, or that uh, Pudding has just been evil this whole time. It makes no sense for her to just, you know, be standing out on the ledge, thinking about her life, thinking, oh man, what am I going to do? Should I defy Big Mom or not defy Big Mom? Um, which if you revisit that, you'll see that that's kind of the internal conflict she was facing. Right from that moment, she visits Luffy in the cell. It makes absolutely no sense for her to just have been evil this whole time, visit Luffy in the cell just to brag and say, I'm gonna kill Sanji at the wedding and you're gonna die too. Ha 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 ha. You know, that, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. So I think she visited Luffy to manipulate his memories. Now, what all she manipulated is hard to say, but the way that I think he's going to do this, in the panel where Pudding reaches over to whisper to Luffy, she very specifically uses both hands cupped on her face and then reaches over, and in the panel where she's whispering behind Luffy's head, you cannot see her hands and you cannot see her mouth. You can't see anything that's happening. All you see is putting with both of her hands behind the left side of Luffy's head, which by the way is the same side that she pulled memories out of Reiju's head. So I think the coincidence there is quite interesting. Um, I also think it's very interesting that that's the very specific way that Oda decided to make putting whisper to him. Also, why she got a whisper in the first place? When they're just having a casual conversation, if she's trying to hide this from anyone, it's opera outside, right? But even he, while they're having a normal conversation, says, what, what are they talking about? I can't hear them or something like that. He can't even tell what they're saying. He doesn't know what they're saying and they're having a normal conversation. Why does she need to whisper? She doesn't. Oda used that apparently just to add this suspense of, oh, she's gonna kill herself. And then later on, oh, she's not gonna kill herself, she's gonna kill Sanji, what the hell? So, from, it, it seems like it's just used to trick us as readers, and it doesn't actually make sense in the context of the story, but if she reached behind Luffy's head with both hands to manipulate his memories, for whatever reason, I think that would be a much cooler idea. 
Um, and I think that could be what Luffy remembers. When Luffy's freaking out trying to rip his arm out in the most recent chapters, he remembers Pudding's conversation as what we saw. He remembers it as, oh, that idiot's gonna be shot to death by me at the wedding or whatever, right? She could have very easily implanted that into Luffy's head as, oh, I'm evil. This is, and why she did that, who knows? There's tons of possible reasons why she would want Luffy to believe she's evil, okay? And like, you know, as a side note, what the hell is she doing with Reiji right now? It makes absolutely no sense in the context of the story unless she wants Sanji to also believe that she's evil. It appears that Pudding just wants everybody to think she's evil, including us as readers, and to absolutely hate her guts. Why? Who knows? Oda's gonna do something incredible with this, I just know it, but we don't really know at this point. I also think that, it ex that, that explains why you see Pudding crying at the end of the chapter entitled Goodbye, right? At the end of that chapter, everyone thinks, oh my god, what the hell is she gonna do? Is she gonna run away? Is she gonna kill herself? Is she gonna do something completely insane that's gonna put everybody against her? Hmm, maybe that's what she's doing. Um, who knows, right? But then you get, like, this reveal that, oh, she's evil, and she whispers she's gonna kill somebody, and then as she's leaving, she's crying? That makes absolutely no sense. Who is she tricking besides us as readers by crying? It doesn't make any sense to me. So, I think it's very possible that Pudding has some shit going on internally. She is going through some kind of internal battle. Obviously, Pudding hasn't just been this sweetheart this entire time, you know? She's, she's got some plans under the surface with Big Mom, but I think there's more to it, and I think that Pudding genuinely is somewhat of a good person somewhere under there. Um, I don't think she's just some crazy evil person. Again, this is just all my opinion, but um, I think I think that where Oda ends up taking her will be very interesting, and I think it would be so cool if Pudding was manipulating the memories of Luffy for whatever reason, whether it was something Big Mom ordered, which would be really cool, or if it was something that she was doing to try and ruin the wedding. Because at this point, it only makes sense that Pudding is trying to ruin the wedding. Unless she's just evil and stupid. Which I guess all is also possible. But anyways, I have a lot of thoughts about what, where I think this arc is going. If you guys have questions about them, ask me. I'll probably throw a whole bunch in the comments section, but let me know what you think about this theory. Uh, I, I feel like it's the, the first time I've, I've heard this idea anywhere. Um, at least the idea of putting, using, you know, her powers on Luffy when she went to go whisper in his ear or whatever. So, let me know what you think about it, if I'm crazy or whatever. And, uh, anyways, until next time, see ya.